Today we have Professor Heinz Wolf's Gravity. And if you're wondering what the license is, it's Professor Heinz Wolf. His photo is on the box, his picture is in the corner here. And this might be the first Wii game that I've played that actually has a little mouse cursor. So, I'm going to double check. I doubt there's anything in here that's important. No. Let's make a little jokes about gravity, that's good. So, this was developed by Extra Mile Studios, or EM Studios, who are based out of Glasgow. Uh, so, I'm going to name my save game Glasgow. Because I'm cool like that. And published by Deep Silver, who obviously are well known for putting out Dead Island, Dying Light, it's the, the Saint Trey games now. So, this is a puzzle game. I don't really know... Oh, okay, it's just going to be simple. Pick an object to point at it and hold down the A button. Oh, right, okay. So that's... Move the control stick left or right. Oh, I just got to hit the button. Is that what it is? Hooray! Nice cloth physics. Very nice. Okay. So. What do these do? Hmm. Okay. Nice undo feature. Oh, I don't want to buy a hint so early on. I don't really. It's got to be useful for something. Can I just perch that on there? Oh, I didn't let you cheat. Boo! Let's just put a marble there. What does that do? Very little. But I wonder... Could I put that on there? And that on there? Could that work? Oh, sort of. All right. I say sort of. I completed the level, so. All right. So where's the ball going to go? Sort of works. Oh, it's a wall. <laughs> I 
Okay, that, oh god. Is there any puzzle three? Let's buy a hint, let's see what the hints do. Okay, so it's going to knock that over. Still don't understand. Oh, can I stack them up like that? That work? There we go. I figured it out eventually. It wasn't even the fourth puzzle, it was the third. Lateral thinking is not one of my strong points. Oh, you can zoom in. This feels very much like a PC port that has been pushed to the Wii. Push the mouse cursor, and it does require a bit of precision. It did a decent job of it, though. That doesn't really work. That speeds the ball up. So I could try... I'm wondering whether that will do it. That's pretty uh, ropey, but let's see what happens. This music's a bit uh, bizarre. It's just gonna fall in it. Hmm. It's time to get somewhere. Just not putting up enough momentum. Okay. Oh, you can press the uh, the trigger to replay levels. That's quite handy. And you can use those buttons to zoom in and out. I'd like a reset level reset level button. That'd be good, rather than to do a number of undos. We'll come back to that one. Complicated than I expected. <sighs> A 
just about works. Yeah! So I think what we could do with this one is you can use that as a plunger. Now if you balance that there, it will push up to it. Hmm. I could have sworn that was going to work. That's not going to work, surely. Just that would be enough. Nowhere near enough momentum. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I don't... Maybe it's just this type of game is not for me, but... Yeah, so I had that. That's what I had. Oh, that's horse shit. Okay. A sandbox level. Okay, let's go and see what one of those is. Just for pleasure, they let you have fun with physics. So it's just Angry Birds then. Yeah, the physics simulation's d half decent. So that's the reset button. Some water. Ooh, gravi turn gravity off. Oh, this is. Alright, I'm on board with this now. So he knocked those up in the air. That's the water on. It's all right. I mean, that is Professor Hines Wolf's gravity. There is a party mode, but this seems very thin. I imagine this was a budget release. It does what it's trying to do reasonably well, but uh, this type of game is just not for me. It never really has been. I don't even know what I'm doing. Look, it's perfect. 